log out okay we did this and apart from that we also did this thing and uh, uh, we have user login now and yeah we have response dot send as well Chalo. so these are just some things that we will be working along with fine now let's just go ahead and okay we don't have all the okay so we don't have this uh, middleware and all that so what we'll do is i'll create a new file call that view slash index dot js all right and over here i guess we will have to go to my github and copy down stuff okay let's just go to the post and it will be from here mm. Yeah, I guess we can just uh, go ahead and download this code. Fine. And the best thing that we can do right now is just copy and paste the views folder over here. Okay, it does not allow us to. uh this should work fine open yeah jiddi hai thoda bol sakte Chalo. Now, I guess it should work and it should allow us to render out our views. Fine. Now, clicking over here, yeah, it does not say index.js, it should be index.ejs. We already talked about our view engine and we are using ejs, the reason and uh, why we were using it and all that sort of stuff. Okay. Now, let's just test it out. Fine. And we are passing in the title as required. And then over here also, we are there. Fine okay uh, we have this about page we have create.ejs okay and uh, for now we will just uh, back uh, okay. even from login and sign up what we'll do is we will just remove the script and from sign up as well so control alt we should do the trick nope and yeah Chalo. so is there anything else remaining uh, that i should be yeah this script as well okay and uh, create has been removed okay and this one as well Chalo. so hopefully we can cross our fingers for now and let's just try out just one render method that is the about page okay and with this i will start my server and you can say npm start hello and let's just go to localhost it's 4000 yeah okay so it uh, just sends the blogs for us all right uh, we are supposed to go to slash about so what I'll do is slash about. Okay, so it says user is not defined. Okay. Yes, so what we need to do is uh, you need to let's go to the about page. Not exactly the about page, this page. Okay. And we can uh, close this part of the page. Yes, over here you see I have this conditional renders. So what I will do is, okay, we will just remove it. And for now we will say welcome user and we'll just keep the logout button. Uh, we won't keep the login button. And along with this, let's remove this guy, remove this guy and remove this guy now it should work yeah it works uh, apart from this we also need to get our styles right so i will just say control j open this 
mm, now where is that folder yeah Hello. fine uh, we can mm, no we don't want to be here okay we can uh, just say right click reveal in file explorer and let's go to b3 okay and i will just drag and drop the file from here to there so yeah we have our public folder as well and on refreshing it should work properly now okay so this is our ejs and it is working properly uh, i would like to run down through this okay so uh, this is our default page all right and then we also talked about this so we are passing in blocks for this page and we are rendering this okay and inside our route if we go over here we are saying slash get okay and then we have our blog index fine and then this blog index being being defined over here Chalo. now we used await over here we use then over here and there are other methods as well like there are some very big methods that you can use like uh, working from scratch you can say uh, instead of using the then method now you don't want to go there because that is some tedious method work way of doing stuff okay and that is very old and 2014 or 15 way something like that Chalo. so what we can do is instead of saying just response dot send we can now say response dot render all right and then we can say index okay uh, just like this page exactly like this response dot render about about page uh, i don't think it is required to be in double this and apart from that we also need to type add in blocks okay Chalo. so let me just put in a comma yeah i did not start recording thank god i remembered it fine uh, it is recording hopefully it is recording so now that we have sent response dot render all right and we should not get an error especially from our uh, this uh, database hopefully else uh, we can always say our this line res dot render 404 okay uh and we can say render 404 and title over here will be uh server error Chalo. uh you don't specially need to do this uh you should know far better ways to handle errors this is just a placeholder for now i don't want to show a 404 page uh, it is not uh, some large resource that was there was an error okay so hopefully our blogs works yeah and we get everyone from the postman and clicking on them takes to uh, gives us this part okay so it says error getting data fine and what was the data apart from that so blog details and let's just try Okay, so since we are using uh, this part, let's see what do we get in place of blog. So I can just say blog over here and let's just try and fix it like this only. Okay. Yeah. So it is null. Okay. Uh, why now? F F six nine and this is four three right. Well, it should work and uh, let's just try our postman. Just close all the other stuff. It does not allow me to move through my window swiftly. Okay, so let's just close this and sit over here and yeah. Okay, chalo. So let's just try this and put a get request for the same and it says error getting data. Okay, now what could be the error? Uh, so we need to put it inside a try catch block. Okay, we'll say try catch. Okay, now we can say 
okay and uh, i just put this guy also inside hmm. now hopefully we are able to get our error so it says null it still says this we can still send it and yeah we are still getting a null okay so we do get all our blogs all right so href it stands for blogs right yeah we are on our blogs page and then we are go coming over here, right? Okay. Uh, don't think she should work, but still, mm, all right. So let's just try and console log our blogs. Fine. I would like to say blogs now. This is blogs. And this will be blocks. Nope, not this block, this block. Okay. So let's just try and localhost 4000. Yeah. Yeah, we are getting this. So Okay, we are getting this one. Okay. Uh, is there some problem with my database now or I don't understand what could be the problem? Fine. Let's just go to our raw and to the type should be JSON. And we'll create a new blog for ourselves. We'll say title. Okay. Uh, we'll say this is test okay uh, snippet hello uh, can i please cancel this request it says cannot post okay so that is some problem now uh, let's just go back to our blog routes yeah we are not supposed to say anything like this we are just supposed to say post like this it still says um, yeah we now have this so yeah what is the problem eh? okay all right so we do have this and it should work no matter what yeah we are not getting anything let's try it out in the browser we are not getting anything right now um well we don't even have this what can be the problem now Okay, let's try and uh, 
okay so it says blog is null fine uh, we should not get that okay oh all right so the problem over here is it should be blog underscore id uh, because we changed it at some point because while i was demonstrating demonstrating for you guys okay uh let's just try and send it again yep we do get our this part of the and then now we can just like this uh we can send this only okay uh but definitely you don't want to send in some uh, non working status all right uh, we will say this dot render and then we will say uh, render from your details page and then uh, the title should be blog dot title okay uh hopefully it works you can only cross our hands and it says blog is not defined we have this blog uh, why do we have blog is not defined at event compile h1 class blog dot title yeah uh, we need to pass in our blog as well right so we'll say blog should be blog okay and up with this it should work yes it says this is a test and hello and this is the body now we have this delete icon over here right so we want to interact with it i want to delete this blog whenever this icon is clicked so uh, let's go back to our front end okay so in our details.ejs i will just close this guy and you see i have added an M I image this so i want to hook this image uh, with an click event okay so i could have done something like an anchor and it should work okay uh, let's try and refresh it now yeah it will work but on clicking over here now you see it is refreshing the page i don't want that to happen and in fact you cannot send a delete request with this anchor tag okay you need to add a script for it okay so instead of adding in one more element now what i thought even though we will be passing in uh, on click event event to the anchor tag as well why not just add it to the image tag and you see it works perfectly as you want it okay so if you see script over here and then you can say where delete uh, button equals to get document dot get element okay uh but for now if you see we have this uh, data doc as well so what we are going to do is we will be uh, getting the element by data Chalo. so uh what we can do now is uh, instead of getting it via element now we can uh, get it with our data doc okay so we will be able to use this blog id to send in uh, this uh, the delete request as our parameter okay uh, so how will we do it is mm, well uh, we will be sending a request to the backend so so uh, we will say mm, yeah you don't get this directly okay sorry for that we will say 
uh, we will say document dot query selector okay and then in our query selector we will pass in the image tag okay so we have this image now if it would have a class we can select it via class and all we'll be doing that later on okay now if i try and console log this uh, delete icon okay uh, sorry not icon our button we will i will show you the data doc all right so let me just refresh this and in our console we have image src and then we have this attribute known as data doc all right so i will say now let's just uh, do this for ourselves so we we'll say uh, delete not this yeah delete button dot add event listener and then we'll add a click event and with that we will say call a function so now this call function will take in our event listener so that is the e all right and we can use the fetch method to go to the back end and fetch uh, data to the same okay so you see in our postman we are doing this under the hood it also does the same thing it calls the fetch method and then it passes in all the headers body tag and whatever we would like to pass to okay so i will now say fetch okay so i'm using template returns because i want to use the uh, that syntax to append the data doc from here okay so i will say fetch uh, slash blocks slash uh, dollar and then i will say delete button dot data set dot doc all right so that is how you select your uh, doc data doc okay and then uh, with this we'll pass in a second object and this will be our headers okay so i will be passing in just the method delete uh, not like this okay delete all right and it should work for this Chalo. so right now also you see we can e either use the await and apart from that uh, we can also use a dot then method okay now we can say response okay and then we can say response if we have a response we will say window all right so we are taking in the entire window and then we can say location dot href okay equals to slash okay and else if we have an error we will just console log it. Uh, we will say console log error. Uh, yeah. Now, hopefully, uh, I did a mouthful of stuff over here, and I have typed it out out of the air. So hopefully now it works, and it won't be a variable. Don't do that mistake. It will be a constant, and it should not change in time. All right. Hello. So uh we can now try and refresh it and let's click over here yeah it did not get deleted actually mm -hmm. no it is not getting deleted why is that now so let's just go over here and go to our block controller and yeah we have our delete over here but it is not even coming over here so i guess we did not uh, do something so in our blog routes we have a dot delete method and then we have a slash blog underscore id as well so let's just check if it is in fact coming over here so yeah and it should not say something like this so in here if i come here okay and let's just check if we have our this and we have two scripts now one of them is our that script but yeah fine Chalo. so we have an on click method as well then we have our fetch method hmm. but we are also not getting an either so uh, what we can do is we can go ahead and console log stuff for ourselves let's just close all the rest of the things 
Uh, yeah. Okay. So what can be the mistake that I'm doing? I'm passing in a method and we have the delete as well on it. And apart from that, in my fetch also, delete button dot data set dot doc, right? And we are going till here. Hmm. Mm. Did we get a console log? Yeah, we did get a console log. Fine. Okay. Yeah, we are getting our blog ID. Okay. So, no, I guess this is coming from here, right? Yeah, the reason it is not deleting is the same. We said blog ID and over here also we have said blog ID. So I'll just copy and paste the blog ID over here. And now, hopefully it should work. Yeah. Let's click over here and try and click it. Yeah, it works and we have successfully deleted our blog. Hello. So for now, that is how we are interacting with our front end stuff. So that is how we implemented a delete action. Similarly, we can also add in a on click action. But you see for the form, we do get stuff like this. So we have our method that is post and we also have the action as well okay and we can use this for our benefit like i have already done this for you but right now if i go to my create page so to the new blog page okay uh, it is not rendering as for now the reason being uh, okay so we are getting something over here and Mm, let's just try and go to the block controller and yeah so mm, mm, no not this uh, block create post Errors dot title should not be that title is already taken fine chalo uh, right. Yeah, we are supposed to create a route for the same. So just like our this route, you see blog route, we had a post route and then we had a, this route as well. So we need to create a route for our posting of this guy. So I will just duplicate this guy, say get over here. Okay. And uh, we will say block create get and over here. I will just say response dot send. All right. We will say response dot send. Uh, sorry, not send. We will say render. Okay. And then in here we will say uh, what should we be saying now? Create. Okay. And then we should pass in a title, and then we'll say create a blog okay now obviously this should be in here like this and hopefully now going to blogs create it should give us something to work around with okay it says uh, blog create post has already been declared yeah uh, we need to say get okay and over here yeah now it should work fine and Hitting an enter over here. Yep, we still get an error. So it says cast for object ID fair at path underscore ID for the model blog. Okay. So my block create get value create. Hmm. 
oh yeah uh, there are to get it out so we'll have to do a slash create okay and yeah now you see it works fine all right and we are also getting this properly Chalo. so uh, just to show you that it works and over here you see we have all blocks the user is updated and we only have three blocks right now so i will say this is the fresh one and we'll say this is its snip and over here this here lies the body and with this you see you can always add in some emojis so i will get myself an emoji of something like uh let's just add in console log okay will uh say please okay uh you see usually saying please work uh it allows you to work with the same yes we did create a blog fine and you see the reason it did not render a page is because uh, we have set res dot json okay now we can say res dot redirect all right and instead of saying something like this we can just say slash hello so let's go back over here all right i guess my meeting is here i will join it in a minute fine uh, we can say now um this is the unfresh one and instead of having this yeah i have sent response dot redirect okay Chalo. so we can now submit it and it redirects as one and it also says this is un updated and we have our latest blog as well and the old blog as well so yeah that will be it for the day and i guess i am getting late for the meeting so is there anything else that you guys would like to ask me or should I stop over here? Any doubts or anything? Hello? Okay, then uh, I guess I can say uh, I will drop this call for now. We will talk later on. Okay. Chalo, bye.